Now in this next part, part D, what we've got to do is find the probability that the random variable x lies between 0.5 and 1.5. And to do this we can use the commutative distribution function that we worked out in the previous part of the question. Because if we're trying to find out the area then between 0.5 and 1.5, if we just go to our probability density graph that we drew earlier on in the question, then we're looking for this area trapped somewhere between these two green lines, this area here. Okay, That's going from 0.5 to say 1.5. And if we're finding that area which represents the probability, then all we've got to do is f of 1.5, which will give us the area all the way back to 0, minus the probability of being less than 0.5, f of 0.5 in other words, which would be to subtract this area here to the left of 0.5. So that's essentially how we go about this. So I just put the intro that we're finding the probability that the random variable x lies between 0.5 and 1.5 and that's going to be exactly the same as f of 1.5 area to the left of 1.5 minus f of 0.5, the area to the left of 0.5. Both these represents the probabilities of being less than these two given values. And so we can just put 1.5 then into this part here because x is between 1 and our k value. So we're going to have a half multiplied by 1.5 all squared minus 1.5 and then plus the 1. And then we've got minus f of 0.5 which is 0.5 divided by 2. And if you work this out you get exactly 5 eighths or 5 eighths as a decimal is 0.625. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea then how we can use the cumulative distribution function, big F of X then, to work out this probability.